Right, back at the Massey again, and I'll just show you. Um, putting the speed shift forward reverse shuttle back into the tractor. So you put the PTO shaft in, you get up to the height of that. Uh, the engine crane is buried at the back of the workshop, so I couldn't use that. It's the way to use a bit of manual brute force. So the shaft, the PTO shaft, goes into that gear at the back, you just about see it. And this has to go in and get slotted in. Um, just a few oil galleries and stuff like that. So um, I replaced all the little seals around there. There's a big dowel that has to line up onto that. And he goes at the back of this here. So I know where that dowel is. And I know where he's got to line up now. So we'll just slide it in and see how it goes. I'll just put Killian to hold the camera. Thank you. So, uh, gearbox back in to where it needs to go and the dowel is lined up. There's also a little oil pipe at the very bottom and he sort of wiggles around so he has to be lined up. A uh, major fight getting this selector fork over the top of the casing. But that's in it now and she's lined up to where it should go. So there's just this ring of 17mm hex heads uh, needs to be put in now and torqued up and then I can do the rest of it okay. Okay. and the next bit of puzzle then is through the L shaft so he slots in and goes through and that's where he lives, he's on a, a sort of like a spring mode so he'll go to the flywheel uh, first and then into the clutch, into the clutch plate. But uh, that's in now, it's all locked up. It all feels pretty good. And I'll show you which part sort of blocks you when you're trying to get in. Is this fella here? He has to come climb over the top of this. So you got to rotate him, and he's not got much room. Um, there's very little room between that gear there and the housing. So he's got, a, he's got a slide in through it, then you have to turn him a little bit. And there's also, you can see that little shiny pipe back there? That's some sort of an oil feed pipe, I don't know. Um, it's spring loaded. I think it's just for lubrication, but if it ain't there, he ain't getting lubrication. So um, I'm not exactly 100% sure what exactly that pipe is for, but um, yeah, if you spin that shaft in the front there, one of the other sides. Yeah. Uh, which one are you spin it? Bigger one? Yeah, spin the bigger one. Yeah, so nothing happened. Um, because he's not in gear. So, I pop him into gear. Now, now we have gears. So that's that. Uh, that's either forward or reverse, I'm not sure. <coughs> we'll try the other way. There we go. So everything's good in the 3125 department at the moment for the gearbox. Just have to put down this cover now. Um, that's the other reason why I take off this cover as well, because if another guy pointed it out, you will not get that selector fork over the selector bars in here. Not a hope. 
um, and I see what this is as well. It, it prevents you from moving it right or left when it's in gear. So you gotta take it out of gear to get select your high and low. So that's what this gizmo is for. And the other part is actually in the tractor itself. It's in here. Um, there's a little valve in there. And you have this guy down bottom. So that's it. A little sensing guy for your high low. Um, and that's the fella that sits in. And this is the guy that sits in the other side. So you wouldn't get that in. Not in a million years to line up with that. Uh, unfortunately, you wouldn't. So that's that. Um, I'm going to put this cover back on now, and that I might make another little video of that. But it's all looking good. Uh, gearbox back in, PTO shop back in. So just got to put these few bits on now. These are your. Um, that's your housing for your slave cylinder. And there's your two slave cylinders. And this other guy as well. So, that'll be for another video. I'll have to clean these parts too. Um, got the Teflon you know, bearings and washers and stuff. So, we'll see how it all goes back together. So, for now, we'll leave it at that.